Thanks, Steve. You'll be pleased to know I'm only going to speak for 25 seconds. <laughs> well, maybe a little bit longer. You've heard about the politics this afternoon, and you've heard about the environment. So I just want to talk to you about the people. Because at the moment, as things stand, the score's 1 0 to us. Yay! When I gas tried to frack uh, just outside Upton, it was people standing here in this crowd today who made sure they didn't. It was the local community, yeah, it was local politicians, and it was those men and women who, over a year and a half, got cold and wet and muddy living in a field to make sure that that fracking couldn't happen, that prevented that act from happening. When you bring the activists, the political representatives, and the community together, we've demonstrated that we can win, and we've demonstrated that we can say to the frackers, no, I won't say it, everybody else has. No, 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 no. But we're ahead at the moment. We've got right on our side. We've got the people on our side. Yes, yes, yes. And we've got the momentum behind us. And we uh, are today taking that momentum over to the Ince Marsha site where they've now turned their BDIs. But the same thing will happen there. Oh, it will. The same thing will happen there. We'll turn them away the same as we turn them away in Upton. And we'll do that by sticking together. And I love the fact that every political party is represented here today. Well, almost every political party. <laughs> the, the fracking lovers aren't here. <clears throat> so look around you today. Look at the friends and the comrades and the fellow activists that are standing with you and look as well at the fellow ordinary members of the community who just don't want their water supplies poisoned and their roads clogged with lorries 24 hours a day. Look around, the take the collective strength through each other, take the collective strength from knowing that the rest of us are going to be fighting your case in the council and in parliament, and take the collective strength from the fact that we've won once before and we will win once again. We're, we're ahead and we ain't going to lose. Carry on. Well done. Thank you. Thanks very much, Chris. Uh, just to let everybody know what's sort of happening now for the rest of the day, we're, we're going to have a, 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 a bit of a musical interlude. Um, and later we've got some more speeches. Um, and some really good speakers who are well worth listening to. Um, so we've also got the, the stands either side and the food, tea, and get around and make sure you get the objections into the Alzheimer's Port planning application. That's the most important thing to do. Um, so we'll be having um, Doozer McDoozer on now. Um, he's made a real effort and come all the way from Essex originally. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, a bit of foot stomping, and please give a, a round of applause for, for Doza. Thank you.